Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, breaking news out of Southern California. Little Dave Santillan, the former international boss of the Mongols, um, ran Mongols Nation for a decade and a half, unceremoniously dethroned back in 2021. We can get into that in a second. Has been arrested for an attempted murder in Pasadena this week. Uh, I guess he stabbed somebody with a box cutter uh, and he's being charged with attempted murder. The Pasadena newspaper reported this, but did not give any insight to who little Dave is or was and misspelled his name. Um, So anybody reading that would, wouldn't know that the person arrested this week was Little Dave. Uh, Dave Santillan, the uh, newspaper uh, put it out as a Dave Santalia, I believe. Um, shout out to Cinemills, uh social media account who broke the news, even though I had to kind of confirm this was the guy that the newspaper was talking about. Um, I think Cinemills has interviewed um, little Dave in the past, but that Dave wasn't facing a case when he got dethroned. Um, it was based on like a, a civil racketeering situation with uh, a, a conflict over the logo and whether or not the group was considered a continuing criminal enterprise and he um, was painted in a bad light by some people that did not like him in the club and uh, was marked a informant related to a a uh, like an iPhone video that his wife made. Uh, of a argument that they had gotten into and he was drunk and and, uh, trying to get her back. And he made some comments that were perceived as him acknowledging that he had been an informant, talking about a guy named John. People believe that that John was an ATF agent. The government has come out and said that little Dave was not an informant, uh, that John uh, testified Little Dave was not an informant, signed an signed a, uh, affidavit that Little Dave was not an informant. So according to the government, Little Dave was never an informant. According to the club, he was and was uh, kicked off the throne and, and kicked out of the club. Um, he, before, before his downfall, he was quite legendary i would say you know a guy that came in and had a pretty heavy duty task in reclamating mongols nation after doc uh got busted and and flipped and um things were in shambles and little dave came into leadership in around 2008 and um brought a lot of pride and um brought a lot of ingenuity into the, into the leadership, went out and started rebuilding the brand, if you will, um, going into, you know, a level of politicking that uh, needed to be done. And he did it uh, or activating kind of a level of politicking amongst other biker bosses that uh, needed to be done in the aftermath of what happened with Doc Cavazos. And Dave was pretty brilliant in doing that. And he had a lot of loyalists in the rank and file. But uh, his his wife, who I, I guess he went back with at some point, and she now denies that, that what people think he was saying, that he was actually saying it. She brought it. It was her uh, who recorded it and, and brought what looked to be incriminating evidence to the club. So that's little Dave's backstory. He, he uh, was uh, 86 and uh, 
got his stripes pulled back in 2021, so it was about 13 years. But right now he's looking at some serious time in uh, California State Prison for attacking somebody that he got into a dispute with out in public with a box cutter and uh, stabbing them in the throat. So we will keep you updated, um, but that's the kind of breaking news you're going to always get here on the OG podcast, whether we're talking about the 1% biker world, uh, La Cosa Nostra, the Italian mafia, black drug gangs. Um, you're always going to get the latest breaking news here at OG pod, the best insight, the best analysis. Um, keep liking, subscribing, and sharing. Uh, share the word, spread the word, like, subscribe, OG podcast, the original gangsters podcast. Check out our Patreon, uh, which is a little bit more story driven, a little bit more analytical, um, some non OC stuff that we got going there. And then check out our companion web magazine, The Gangster Report. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out. Thank you.